crowd's gone wild. Three time zones away in Hawaii, hogs have turned a tropical paradise into a terrifying hell. Hawaii's lush landscape rears some of the biggest hogs in the world. Andrew West is a scientist who studies wild hog behavior. He's also an expert trapper who's not afraid to go one-on-one -on -one with these monsters. The key in grabbing a big pig by the back legs is don't let go. Locals call this Australian-born expert the Hog Whisperer. I'd say 200. But he's facing an endless battle as the beasts destroy indigenous plants and animals and move closer and closer to civilization. <laughs> Pigs are a huge problem here in Hawaii. Because there's no natural predators to keep them in line, they just breed like gangbusters. And they're absolutely ruining the ecosystem. Today, Andrew's gonna help a woman trapped in her own home. She lives alone in the heart of prime hog country. Andrew is entering ground zero in Hawaii's war on monster hogs. Virginia's been fending off hogs for years, but in recent months, the invasion has been almost unstoppable. Wild hogs are known for their intelligence and quickly learn to avoid traps. Virginia's tried everything to beat back the beasts and failed. I called Andrew because nothing has been working. Wow. This was the very first one that, that I encountered. He's a big boy. I was trying to shoo him away. This was down below. And then look at that monster. Wow. That's the variety that's here. Pretty formidable. These pigs are my nemesis. I have this perfect life and my beautiful Eden. <laughs> And almost every night now, they're coming out, they bulldoze, they're knocking down the rock walls. This is where I hear the, the screaming and sometimes the thundering running. You hear their, their hoofs on the rocks, and uh, it's too scary for me to walk through there and even to be in this part of really? my property at night. Never, never. It seems that Virginia's life at the moment is really being affected by these hogs. She can't go out at night. They've got a captive in her own home. So we've got to change that. That's just not right.